This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate one of the plugins that we talked about. Lock and load is legendary in our industry. It's not new, but I've never demoed it, and I really wanted to show you what this is. It's published by Cormelt, cormelt.com. It's available at their website, supports Final Cut 10, Final Cut 7, After Effects, Premiere Pro. It's $99, and there's a free trial available. It is extremely fast image analysis and stabilization, and now the latest version can remove rolling shutter, also called jelly shutter, and fisheye lens distortion, which is most frequently caused by GoPro cameras. The reason you want to use it rather than the stabilization built into Final Cut is lock and load is much faster at calculating and analyzing a clip, and the resulting smoothing tends to be smoother than what Final Cut does on its own. Let me show you lock and load. Okay, this is a shot that Michael took of his dog, and it's a handheld shot. Cue the dog. What a cute dog. Absolutely a cute dog and absolutely a handheld shot. So let's stabilize it. If I go up to the video tab and go down to stabilization, the very first thing that Final Cut has to do is to analyze the clip. And it's analysis which takes anywhere from four to eight times significantly slows down the process of image stabilization. Once a clip has been analyzed, you don't need to analyze it again. The analysis information stays with the clip. But you do have to analyze it the first time. And it takes a while. Now, with lock and load, let's go here, let's go to effects, let's go down to, up to, C2. C2 lock and load. We've got tracking, correcting lens distortion, stabilization, shutter reduction, that's the uh, jelly shutter that we talked about, the rolling shutter. I just want to stabilize this by itself. Grab the effect, drag it on. Okay, it says there's no tracking data. You need to click track motion. And we're going to time how long this takes. It takes about four seconds, which is between mm, three and eight times faster than Final Cut doing it natively. Once that's done, now we get to decide what do we want to stabilize. Do I want to stabilize a single shot, make it look like it's a multi-shot, or lock it down like it's on a tripod? Let's just work with the default. Click here and play it. Compare that to when stabilization's turned off. Look at how much shakier this is. Now we can even take this to lockdown mode. And now it looks like the dog's face is not moving at all, like we shot it on a tripod. Let's try another example. Here we have an underwater fish, the one that thought that its career belonged on stage, not a plate, and it's thinking about whatever fish think about. The problem is, is that the camera, although not moving a lot, is still moving. It'd be nice to concentrate on the fish and not say, whoa, where is the diver and how far away is it? Suddenly I'm thinking diver. I don't want to think diver. I want to think fish. Select the clip. Go to Stabilize Only, drop it on, track the motion. The motion tracking, again, happens very, very close to real time. Still needs to be done ahead of time. And this time, look at the difference. You can see what happens as I play it back. Look at how the text is moving. And you can see how much it's stabilizing the picture by the amount the text is moving. But because the camera is now stable, look at how we're concentrating on the fish and details inside the fish before we were concentrating on looking at how shaky the camera is or look how hard the camera guy was working to make the fish visible. Here's another good example. Look at the gnome. Okay, bad zoom and just shaky overall. Select the clip. Stabilize only. We create tracking data, and again, it tracks us in very, very close to real time. And now when I play it, now that jerk is caused by not rendering, 
But notice how much smoother it is and how much less likely it is to take you out of the story because the shakiness is so bad. The product is called Lock and Load, and it is an amazing image stabilization piece of software. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 146. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.